Good morning, YouTube. How are you today? I promise I'll be this peppy when I get back to the snow. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Choice of lawn chairs when you get out here nice and early. Mm. So I was asking my guest uh, any other tips he might have for you guys. Uh, we were kind of brainstorming together. Oh, there's a heron. Ooh, he's cool. Always action by the rocks over here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we came up with a couple tips saying like um, four or five days minimum is probably best for here. Um, I probably would have done like five days. It depends how much you're into the person. <laughs> Facts. Like if you're with a client, um, maybe, you know, less days and get that uh, vacation. Um, <clears throat> or if you're you know, celebrating an anniversary or something, then you might want to stay even longer than a week. Like I almost want to, I did a content week mostly. Um, so half vacation, half content week. Um, I almost want to stay an extra week and just actually take a real vacation. <laughs> but hey, life of a, a YouTube star. <laughs> That's a good idea, snorkeling by the rocks. biggest tips I have for this place is don't be afraid to talk to people it's the nature of the resort everything's just open natural wonderful uh, and the people here are just like open to socializing like like I said before like the fun stuff is just the cherry on top um, you never know who you're gonna meet who you're gonna connect with Oh, and I remembered another tip was, uh, <laughs> Richard was saying, uh, don't expect to get much work done here. You can come with the intention and your laptop and everything else to, to get it done. But even my, my conference the other day really kind of did eat into the day, even though it was only an hour. Um, so there's that. Um, and if you want to get a good tan, at least a week at least a week and i think uh booking through the resort also is the best deal i think expedia uh we tried to go through that and it said it was booked and uh then we went directly through the resort uh not a price difference but uh, then there was some availability so hmm. how to vlog when naked just flip the camera around <laughs> No, I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, asking about the residencies and how much it is. I can almost bet that for less than the price of a small condo back home, you can probably live in Jamaica for at least half the year or a full year if you really wanted to. Definitely going to fill you guys in on that, on the options. extra tip if you come right before 11 I find you can have like a healthier lunch with some of the breakfast stuff that they put out I really am enjoying 
having showers outside. It's kind of a, uh, a good way to get some attention, get the ocean knots out of your hair, cool off. Um, but I was gonna say, maybe make sure your friend that you come with, you guys are kind of into the same thing because maybe one person will really want to drink or go on a boat ride and the other person just kind of wants to relax. Like my, my friend did not even bring a book. So I'm often just like reading and doing things on my phone and they're just kind of relaxing. And I know they're just relaxing, but it's awkward AF. It is. So just a thought. I guess there's like a little extra garden over here. They really keep the uh, property grounds immaculate. And I kind of just wanted to show you, uh, I guess closer to the highway. I want to say mountains, but I guess they, they're more cliffs. Same thing, right? Let's go take a look. All right, I'm just gonna mm, cover my chest here because I don't know what the legalities are in Jamaica, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about over there. Uh, might be able to get you a better view I'm heading back to the airport. We never really left the resort, but uh, I guess you need more time for that. Hmm. Oh, I forgot my book in the room. Is it one tree or many trees? Many trees. Right? Like, look how far the roots come out. I want you guys to have a, actually a closer look at this. Reminds me of the Lion King. <laughs> Which is 45 years old. Okay, so we were just informed this is a rubber tree, which uh, the wonderful groundskeeper was just saying this is a rubber tree. They call it a rubber tree, which you can make latex clothing from tree sap. And I guess this is the one. Okay, Damon, very cool. <laughs> oh, I think I felt a raindrop. <laughs> oh, palm trees are just wonderful. This branch caught my eye. Just how it kind of curves around. That's so cool. Mmm, rain shower. Feels great on the skin. wind is coming <laughs> oh okay this this heart is softer here um they have these little permanent hearts here and uh the other one over here is packed so tightly would you like a massage <laughs> oh. yeah i'm not running in from the rain seriously Oh, there's a wedding flower. Oh, okay. It's fake. I got excited. Treasures. All the treasures. This one? Yeah. And Richard was actually even just saying, he's like, oh, maybe they have something underneath to kind of like help keep the heart's form. Otherwise people would just step on it, right? And it would kind of <laughs> probably not stay like that. I'd show you the outfit of the day, but it's just a belly chain, so. <laughs> Who keeps trying to WhatsApp me? Uh, t extra tip of the day, whatever number we're on. Uh, maybe download WhatsApp, because uh, not everyone has roaming fees here, uh, especially like if you want to <laughs> hook up with the locals, they have WhatsApp. I'm noticing like anywhere you go that's not US or Canada, when you're, tra when you're traveling, people hook up on WhatsApp. Rain! Oh, it's pretty. Look at it coming down. Yes. And a sun shower. Looks like it's almost done. Well, the rain's still going. 
But uh, it's kind of nice. I'm just laying down in the cabana and it's kind of tickling my body. These little things, being connected with nature, slowing down like this. It's like, you know what? It's not annoying. It's actually really beautiful. Wonderful. Being present. such a good nap. I think it's almost time to do our last day wrap up. I survived a week of hedonism. However, the snail though is almost completely lifted and I went to my regular nail lady to get these crazy sparkle nails. Oof, yummy. Uh, but literally, I think the water is so salty this time. I think it's literally lifting my nails. So maybe get shellac if you're gonna uh, come for a week vacation here. But it's up to you. I mean, like, I love having my hair and my nails done for this trip, so. Content queen. It would appear I lost my pet lawyer. <laughs> uh, not always a bad thing. I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna miss more, the sun or the socializing or breakfast being made for me and lunch and dinner. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna miss uh, not sleeping alone. Oh my gosh. Light sleeper, the worst. Oh, another sea shop. <laughs> Let's see, what did I learn on this trip? Vacations are very nice. <laughs> Um, taking it easy, also very nice. Um, exploring the swinger lifestyle. Fun, but don't expect usually a very intimate conversation, or uh, experience, conversation. You know, whatever you want to call it. No copyrighted music, you can't come in right now. I think it's time for one more swim before the sunset. other thing. This is the most awkward thing about people. I get not wanting to use your phone on vacation and having it in the safe or whatever. You can put, literally put it on airplane mode, but if you lose somebody, <laughs> it's nice to just shoot them a text and be like, hey, where are you? That's all. You don't have to go looking at your work emails. Like, but anyway. <laughs> said there was a lionfish over here but I don't see him I do see a very cute yellow yellow kind do you see him oh. oh I like being human I like um exploring nature <laughs> it's a good thing to do oh he's so cute tangs are awesome Let me give you my thoughts on a full week at hedonism. And we're gonna just catch the rest of the beautiful sunset together. Uh, ooh, I'm loving my little Las LeBlanc. Uh, I should have started like that. <laughs> Whatever, you know what, amateur filming. We will look back on this days. I just realized, uh, remembered that you can sort videos through oldest. I'm gonna literally spend all night looking at my oldest videos. <laughs> oh boy. That, who needs to go, who needs to swing when you can just look at your six year old YouTube videos? <laughs> oh man, no, this vacation, even though uh, with one of my awkward weird friends, um, it was still great. I mean, we really, really do forget how gorgeous nature is but I came on and I wanted to tell you something how <sighs> this is why we need vacation is because I feel like we have the two extremes 
in life and no one knows how to like turn the air conditioning or the heat just, just a little bit right which is a metaphor for like meditation or working too much i feel like we're either working so so much swear word or or like we need a vacation and just literally like sit, all, sit by the beach all day where's the balance you know what i mean and where's the copyrighted music when you oh jamaica oh they must have heard me because they turned it <laughs> anyways okay so what's it like coming here for a week um so this was my second time here i think i said that um do you play right away do you like is is there crazy things activities going on on the beach no here i'll tell you there's like several different areas uh that you can kind of go there's the prude side and the nude side uh nude side again is strict no photography no videos strict strict uh on the clothing optional side you can kind of get your stuff in uh same with up top with the dinner buffet they don't they don't want any of that which is like totes cool i did my best to like try and not get anybody um as best i could throughout this whole series it's like there's still the shame of the lifestyle right like even half the people i talk to um i'm like so you, you didn't tell tell your your family right like you can't like for the most part and they literally tell you here like oh, if you need uh, pg photos you can just go to sandals next door like how about we change that? But anyways, let me let me change, tell you more about the, the resort. Um, there's boat cruises. The snorkeling was really fun. Um, the bar over there tends to pick up around one, one to like four is pretty poppin'. If you're like a drinker, partier, want more of like a, a happening vibe. If you want uh, like a quieter spot there's the clothing optional side which is just super chill sunshade uh there's so many shares to choose from uh, you can choose a new spot every day there's less activities here if you don't follow the uh theme night schedules or if you're not with a group so i'm sure that would be like a completely different experience altogether like again checking the website and seeing like oh, okay uh tom's lifestyle crew is coming uh this this week or Oh, the, the Karma Sutra people are coming this week, right? Uh, what else do I want to mention? It kind of is just all a blur, really. <laughs> um, for playing with people, um, what is that? Like, the easiest thing is just a two to five minute conversation, longer if you so choose, and then just ask someone if they want to play with you. Really, truly, like, but, uh, if I may, maybe don't focus so solely on that. Like, like come here with the intention to meet people. And oh my god, I could have been filming. See, this is why we're taking lots of the Blanc Academy because I could just be filming like this and not, or not have a shadow in my face. The sunset will be gone by the time I redo it. I try. I try. This is why we film lots so we can learn from our mistakes. Oh, it looks pretty over there now. I just realized too, Cuba is like four hour boat, uh, boat cruise away. So I invested most of my money on um, Tantra school for this month. So otherwise we have taken myself to Cuba. Well, maybe not by myself because I'm not used to traveling yet so much by myself. But we'll get there, surely. Wait, there it is. Okay. Uh, my phone died. So uh, that's one thing I noticed. Like, I have to keep running back to the room because I'm I'm uh, charging. Like, okay. Vacation brain. Help me, Lord. Um, um, I'm filming so much and the sunshine, you kind of forget to um, charge your phone at night. So uh definitely bringing the backup camera i have my phone my gopro and my new camera that i like literally didn't even get a chance to to play with <gasps> the playrooms at night are quite fun uh but they open at 10. i don't know why like we were literally gonna put that in the suggestions box like don't people come here to do that <laughs> so i guess they have to like um staff them and make sure everything's good like one of the interesting rules was that you can't bring more than two guys at once because i guess it would get like either out of hand or um you know 
that's the thing it seems with uh lifestyle clubs is that uh, there's more a lot more guys than uh single females so i get that um you also have to um be play actively playing in the the playrooms or you get kicked out um it was weird being told to uh, lose my cover on the nude side. Like you can't even wear something see-through, but that's okay. It's cool. like, I wasn't perving, but hey, you never know. <laughs> um, the only thing I would say is that like the, the hot tubs uh, could be hotter. So um, hopefully you like swimming in the ocean here, uh, which is way, way better uh, in my own opinion. And the sun is plenty hot enough. So you'll be fine on that. Um, can have a hot shower if you really want after um yeah food has been fantastic um i feel like every trip here like i've, I've met people uh at, in the the brunch the dining hall um uh, that have been here like 28 times like 15 times like i bet it's different every time that's cool especially especially with the themes and everything uh the stage shows last night for fetish night were the best uh, we didn't even stay for that many but there was like uh, uh some sexy hoop shows aerial shows the one dancer mm, she was very sexy <laughs> uh, yeah very skilled uh, uh talent here uh staff's really really friendly um, and just the right amount of single people I feel. Are you like, honestly, I, don't, I almost don't want to tell you what to expect when you come to Keto. Just come. Just come and, with an open mind and mingle and <laughs> try to be single. <laughs> no. Um, met some really cool couples here. Um, everyone is so, so, so nice. And it's not just because they want to do stuff with you. They are, are actually, it's just, it literally opens up. Like, I have had multiple conversations where they're like, we can't just sit down like if we were at sandals and be like hey can i sit with you it's like everyone is at the cool kids table here everyone's equals so cool. hmm. now i want to look at cuba <laughs> maybe i'll see you there in the next one